welcome to math world suni hello everyone today we are going to combine math and art in a fun and creative way using indigas aim of the project to combine the mathematical concepts of integer addition with art materials needed first of all colored paper or even you can use foam sheets scissors glue and a marker pen rules of integer addition if both the integers have same sign add the integers and keep the same sign example 4 plus 3 equals 7 and negative 2 negative 1 means 2 and 1 have the same sign negative therefore add the integers and put negative symbol to the answer that means 2 plus 1 equals 3 and put the negative sign so final answer is negative 3 If both the integers have different sign, subtract smaller number from bigger number and assign the sign of the bigger number to the answer. Example: negative two plus six means six minus two equals four, and the sign of six is positive, so final answer is positive four. To subtract three minus six, first subtract six minus three. Six minus three equals three, and six is the bigger number here. And sine of six is negative, so final answer is three minus six equals negative three. Yeah! Let's start the activity. First step: make some flowers of equal size using your colored paper or the foam sheets. Here I am using two different colors, green and red. Second step: mark positive and negative. Green color can be taken as positive, and at the center you can mark the positive symbol, and red color you can select as negative number, and at the center mark the negative symbol. Before starting the project, we all should know the basic of integer addition, that is negative one plus one equals zero. Here we selected green flower as positive, and red flower as negative. So one red flower. Plus one green flower together will make zero. Third step: write any integer equation and paste the flowers according to your numbers in a chart paper. My integer equation is negative two plus four. So negative two means we need two red flowers. So I pasted two red flowers, and positive four means we need four green flowers. Here we have one red flower and green flower, so it represents zero. There is one more red flower and green flower. It represents negative one plus one equals zero. So only two green flowers will be remaining here. So negative two plus four equals two. My second integer equation is three plus negative five. So three means we need three green flowers. Negative five means we need five red flowers. Now let's do the addition. In this case also, there is one green flower and red flower. It represents zero. Again, green flower and red flower. It represents zero. There is one more group of green flower and red flower. Again, zero. So only remaining flowers are two. Red flowers. So final answer equals negative two. My next integer equation is negative two plus negative three. Negative two means we have two red flowers, and negative three means we have three red flowers. We have only red flowers here. There are five red flowers, so the total sign will be equal to negative. Final answer is negative two plus negative three equals negative five. My next equation is three plus four. Three means three green flowers, and four means four green flowers. Total there are seven green flowers, and all these are green flowers. That means the sign is positive, so final answer is plus seven. Fourth step: paste all the four integer equations together in one chart paper, and decorate the borders. And now your project is ready. Hope you enjoyed this activity and feel more confident in doing addition of integers. 
If you like my video, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Please share the video with your friends. Thanks for watching.